The 68th Cannes Film Festival has passed the halfway point and our intrepid film critic Lisa Nesselson is in the thick of things. We're going to meet with her, have a word with her now about what's going on down in Cannes. Lisa, thanks for joining us. Now we begin with the French-Canadian director, Dean Denis Villeneuve, who premieres his film today. Uh, tell us all about it. Well, it's called Sicario, which apparently means hitman. And I have to say, there's quite a body count because the thrust of the story is the so-called war on drugs between the United States and Canada and parts uh, farther south. It stars Emily Blunt as a very serious law enforcement officer in Arizona who sort of gets co-opted into a group of advisors, which includes uh, Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro. And um, they are trying to keep uh, drug traffic at bay, of course, it's an impossible task, and they use some unconventional methods to do it. It's a very so tense, interesting, exciting, suspenseful, dangerous feeling film. And uh, this is uh, Emily Blunt speaking about uh, what her role entailed. I think that um, she's definitely trying to survive in a predominantly male driven industry but, um, or profession. But, um, but I think, you know, the FBI agents that I spoke to, they sound like me. They just sound like normal girls. And, and I, I found that interesting to kind of get under the skin of what it is to be a female cop and what that costs you, how it affects your marriage, how it affects how you sleep at night and um, how you cope with the men working alongside you. It was just really interesting hearing their point of view and quite humbling, actually. Now, Lisa, the second film in competition from a female director is Valerie Donzelli's Marguerite and Julien, apparently based on a true piece of French history. It is based on a true piece of French history. Uh, it's set in rural France in the late... 1500s, and it's about a brother and a sister who are madly in love with each other. Madly, inappropriately, totally, utterly, physically, passionately in love with each other. And I have to say that back in the 1500s and even now, church and state really frowned on that. I mean, the biggest frown you can find, apply that to these two young people. So they grow up to be grown-ups and they can't be kept apart. They try marrying her off. That doesn't quite work. Valerie Donzelli has really made the material her own because she's introduced anachronisms like uh, radios and electric lights. So you have uh, chateaus and estates and people eating the kind of food they would have eaten back then, but you also have contemporary knickknacks. And it's, it's all a very strange combination, as we can see in this clip. Those two uh, films, at least, have been completed and will make their way out into the wider world beyond uh, the closeted one uh, that you're enjoying of uh, Cannes. Cannes, though, is also about future projects, is it not? It is very much. Of course, there's a, a massive film market where films yet to be made are bought and sold as well as the ones that have been made. And a film that will be completed probably in time for next year's festival is being made by the son of Commandant Jacques Cousteau. Now, Jacques Cousteau and Louis Mao uh, were the only people to have won the Golden Palm, the top award for a documentary for The Silent World, until Michael Moore's Fahrenheit 9-11. And now Cousteau's son is working on a film with the clever title Odyssey, 3D to show us what is really going on in the beautiful water out there that we don't live in, but all sorts of critters do. Let's take a look. Odyssey 3D, for me, is a unique uh, opportunity to see images that after 69 years of scuba diving, I cannot see only after 
where you put it on a screen. And I'm like a kid discovering the world we all depend upon. And it's absolutely fascinating. The technology that we're using today has been put together by our team. We are in a position now where we can literally focus in slow motion on something happening in 3D which we've never seen before. My father was always an inventor, a creator. His dream was to go where he had not been. And when people ask him, where do you expect to find when you're gonna go over there? He always said, if I knew, I wouldn't go. Some extraordinary footage there, Lisa, that we, uh, we look forward to seeing more of. Uh, look there, uh, thanks to you, uh, at what's happening in Cannes today. Thanks very much indeed, Lisa Nesselson, our film uh, critic, enjoying, it doesn't look like great sunshine today, but more clouds than there have been these last few days.